Traditional analog television was developed in the late 1930s and standardized in 1941. Color was added to the um, system in 1953. The signal that is conveyed over the air for traditional analog television is made up of three carriers, a visual carrier, a chroma carrier, and an oral carrier. You can see that the signal does not totally use the entire band and therefore is not totally efficient in the 6 megahertz channel. On the other hand, digital television being developed uh, was developed in the 1990s conveys ones and zeros that represent the picture and the sound that are high quality. The signal that uh, conveys this utilizes the channel very efficiently. As you can see, it uses up almost the entire 6 megahertz channel and can be conveyed at a lower transmitted power, providing the same coverage and service area as digital television. Let's take a look at what's happening in your analog set right now, though, because that's what you're watching. Analog television has been around, as Gary said, for quite some time. What I'm showing here is a block diagram of what's inside your TV set. Please, you're not a TV repair person. Don't go inside your set to check this stuff. But what I have here is an antenna that's receiving all of the services that are within range. That antenna doesn't care if it's analog or digital. It's receiving all of those services and delivering them to the back of the television set. So at the back of the TV set, the first thing you come to is the tuner. The tuner's job is to select one of the services. That's what you do when you change channels. If you're selecting an analog channel, this television set knows what to do. It takes the video off of that channel. It delivers it to some circuitry that it uses to process. It lets you adjust the color, the chroma, those things that you do to improve the image quality, and then delivers it to the display so you can watch it. It does a similar process with, with the audio. It pulls the audio off, determines whether it's stereo left and right, sends it to some circuits to let you adjust the volume, amplifies it, and sends it to the speaker or speakers in your set. This lets you watch and listen to television. On February 17th of next year, analog services go away. But everything in this television set continues to work just fine. So if you have a VCR, a DVD player, those components that you're currently using now, those, co those components continue to work just fine. The only thing that's changed is that there are no longer analog services being delivered to this antenna, and this tuner doesn't know what to do with the digital-only services that are available.